गुड मॉर्निंग पायरेट्स तो हम लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आर टुडेज एनालिसिस अबाउट निफ्टी एंड बैंक निफ्टी सो दिस एनालिसिस फॉर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड इन द लास्ट सेशन विच इन द लास्ट एनालिसिस व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस व्हाट हैज हैपन विद हैपन टू दैट एनालिसिस सो ऑन फ्राइडे we said that the nifty and bank nifty has a scope to come down from certain level why because they both were at the uh, some important level so let's discuss let's continue this tomorrow but before going further uh, as i am creating this video with the two lines method uh, if you are really willing to continue these sessions please comment on the videos along with that if you have any queries please post those comment queries on video itself so that i can address those queries and uh, uh, you can share this uh, analysis to your friends colleagues why i am asking this or why you should do this is just i am i would like to create an awareness the indian stock market is driven by fiis and we have identified or we have cracked that algorithm which will help any retail trader to not to lose their hard earned money in market by going against fii if you are aware of this theory you can definitely align your actions in indian stock market and you can definitely take benefit of fii's action okay so let's start with nifty so in yesterday's session what we have discussed from recent low nifty has crossed almost two primaries i am repeating this every time because we should know where what is the current market structure and how this market structure can help us to take our further decisions so from this primary uh, from the in this primary run when nifty reached to this point it has a capacity to go up by approximately 800 points at the same time it has capacity to go down at least by 267 points that is what 260 or 270 points that is what you can see in the picture as well so whenever nifty is going up it has a capacity to go down whenever it is going up it has a capacity to go down now it is in trending mode and if you can see again it has a capacity to go down it has a capacity to go down so at the same point because we were at that second primary boundary and we have just crossed this but someone has applied like fis have put their money to bring nifty down at this point that is why we can uh, what we discuss in our last 18th uh, november video that nifty has capacity to go down by approximately 267 points and now you can see how much points it has reached from the top right it has almost covered 235 points 20 points less so what we uh, discussed and what you can see in the price why we could not predict about upside why there is we have discussed about downside uh, this can be decided by two lines theory and if you are not aware of this theory just post your number on in the comment box uh, and i'll share some material so that you can understand this type of analysis where we are not using any of the candlestick pattern chart pattern or any of the advanced indicators okay so this is the kind of analysis we are using where two lines are responsible for every time frame you can just uh, uh, adopt this method and you can then create powerful trades from uh, your own trading account if you are checking 15 minutes the power is still with uh, the power is still in fis and and uh, like they are uh, they are thinking or they what their action is showing we have still bullish power to go up because the price has crossed RSI 51 just few days back and till uh, since then it has some bullish power. This bullish power will be helpful to create minor trades or minor uptrends and secondary downtrends. So secondary downtrend capacity is almost almost consumed by the price. So some part is still remaining, but then there was a minor change or change in the minor downtrend. or or change in the downtrend and it has converted the price into the minor uptrend so now the capacity is minor uptrend and secondary downtrend what is secondary downtrend the price has capacity to reach to this point but from this low price has capacity to cover at least 120 points upside fine so we will go and check what is happening with the intraday level so at intraday in intraday level what we are watching in the price is the price was in sideways range what was the sideways range this approximately if we are considering the recent day 
So this was the low created by the price and this was the high. And if you check this, it was sideways for almost good duration and it has crossed 1x below. So if you can see 88 points, it is still okay. The range normally is of 120 points, so either 88 or approximately 120 points. So this is the Nifty sideways range. Okay, so Nifty was in the same range for a certain duration. Then again, when it broke, price went to almost 1x. Or if you are if you have considered the smaller range, it has almost reached to 2x, and in the middle it has taken a reversal. So not to worry, it is not it is not about uh, uh, patient zone, it is about how you are handling patient zone. You can consider a smaller range, but if you are applying our two lines club my, micro range uh, rule, then you can definitely trade in uh, even in this market structure. Uh, still, there is some pain because of the continuous reversals and the pain is nothing but as you are using this method, this method should stop you from uh, making mistakes. So this method should stop you from taking wrong trades. And that is what it is currently doing because market structure is not right. So there should not, not, should not be a possibility of good trades. Okay. So in this case, I have already explained what is going to happen with Nifty. And then we are looking for Bank Nifty. In the Bank Nifty case, we are in third primary. As we are already aware of this, we are in third primary. And we are in the middle of approximately we have started with the third primary. And again, we said the price do not have scope to go up, but to come down, but it has not covered the entire distance. It has slightly moved down. It has also not in the middle of the price. Okay. Because of the bullishness in the price on all the time frames. In the five minute as well, it has shown the bullishness and the price is still holding the price is still holding upside although there was the expected downside the someone has broken again a minor trend so we'll check this on the detail chart so we were uh, which we have seen in the previous session like on 17th and 18th price was sideways and then from this high price has broken this low but at the boundary someone not allowed price to go again to the area that means we can say now the price has no capacity to travel into this area because of this change in the minor trend. The price has capacity to reach to this point. So at least 42,000 the price should open or price should start its journey until this point. And 2x we can expect only after this crossing this boundary and this boundary. The rest of the things we have already discussed. So the expectation is minor uptrend again. And if it is crossing above this, then we are expecting this pending move in the price but still if price want to come down price needs to open below this so this is about bank nifty and there are also some of these stocks we have uh, found out although the market is not in the right structure so please trade, uh, invest wisely these are few stocks where FIRs are have their holdings and uh, tribute tri tri turbine uh, Honeywell Automation, Geship, Raymond and Tata Coffee. Just check where is the best opportunity where the price is near EMA and RSI above 51. In early time frame, you can jump into the position uh, with safe risk. So what is safe risk? Just consult with your financial advisor and uh, divide your capital into number of risk buckets and then invest your money in the market. Thank you, Pirate. So let's wait tomorrow again after post-market analysis and I'll also cover what is going to happen on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, what is going to happen on uh, Tuesday. Okay. Thank you. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and comment.